What's up guys? So, uh, getting ready to head out to Atlanta. And as promised, I have my makeup on. Um, Sherry, see you later, baby. I'll be back. Be good girl. Um, so yeah, I'm getting ready to head on out to Atlanta. I'm going to pick up some wild growth hair oil, okay? And I know, you, as y'all can see, I have my, my wig on because I'm taking it all the way back to the beginning. Okay. Yeah, so we taking this thing all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> Haven't vlogged in a long time, so this is this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Beautiful day outside. All right, y'all. So ready to hit this road, and um, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys some scenery out here while I'm driving. But I'm anxious to see how this foundation is going to last and hold up in uh, Atlanta's weather. Sharp right onto US 64 East. So, here we go. Sharp right onto US 64 East. US 74 East. Hope everybody's having a wonderful and blessed day and that you are enjoying the blessings that God has given us by letting us see another day. I tell you, I am so grateful and so honored that God has shined his light on me um, and that I have been humbled enough to allow him back into my heart and back into my life and it's so it's so amazing you know and I'm gonna tell you guys sometimes you know when you begin to walk this walk people sometimes don't understand and sometimes more often than not you end up losing friends uh, family members um, but the Bible tells us that no one can come before God no one and so it is not an easy it is not an easy uh, task to make this decision to you know be with the Lord and to do what what he asks us to do on a daily basis so I said that to say this I would rather choose God in a half mile turn right than to live my life not knowing if I'm going to heaven I'm not afraid to die he can he can come get me right now and I would not be afraid because I know that the long run I'm gonna be able to sit there North Carolina 60 south and have an awesome time every day singing his praises and just Continue on North Carolina 60 south for 13 miles being with him you know it, and it is so it's such a wonderful feeling um, to have this peace 
and um, now don't get it twisted because though you walk this walk it doesn't make you numb to feelings okay it does, it's not going to you know take away your hurt feelings you know when someone hurts your feelings or um, you're not numb to become angered uh, we have to work through that and pray through that um, so a lot of people think you know oh well yeah you know they walking with the Lord and this that and the other so I could just go in and walk all over them and and they can't do anything except for except to accept it and that is not <laughs> that is not the truth okay uh, not only do you have to deal with that by God but you have to answer for the, the choices that you make if you choose to bring that up on someone that's that's trying to live their life right okay basically is is the way I can put it so um, just you know I, I like to start my day out with being positive and starting it out with God and praying and my I have Sirius and I have my gospel channel I listen to uh, Kirk Franklin and honey when I tell you I'm, I'll be in this car and I just be praising the Lord's name and singing and just giving thanks to our father that has given us another day uh, to rejoice in him so I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and I will come back in later and um, there's this one particular site that I want I want to show you guys and it just when you see it you cannot do anything but to see the magnificent that God has has done for us so I'm gonna put the camera on that uh, as soon as I get to it it's gonna be a ways before I get to it so until then I will see you soon Hey guys, I'm here. I'm at Sally's, so I'm going ahead and get this um, potion, this concoction. Hi. Um, I actually called about the wild hair growth yesterday. Yay! <laughs> I went to the um... Alright guys, so I went ahead and got the wild growth. So this is what it looks like. Right? And it was only um, $8 $8.19 compared to what they charge you online. So my next stop is I'm going to look at some apartments to see if I can find um, something that I like. 
Uh, it's way ahead of schedule, but uh, I like to plan like that. So let's go and see this one Head place. Head east on Hiram Way, then turn left onto Holly Springs Parkway. Kind of want to make, make a U-turn, then turn left onto Holly Springs Parkway. Kind of want to make the best out of my You are on trip. the fastest route. You should reach your destination by 2.48 p.m. Turn left onto Holly Springs Parkway. So, here we go. And I'll see if I can um, videotape it once I get inside. What's up guys? So I'm just checking in. It's only been a couple hours, I guess, um, since I hit the road. Maybe three hours, actually. Um, but I wanted to let you see the makeup. We're doing pretty good. So I will check in again. Well, guys, I am done for today. I'm on my way back to the mountains. Um, had a pretty productive day. And, uh... Continue I, on Powder Spring Street for one and a half miles. I believe I found my apartment. I even video, um, I put it on a uh, film. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm still going to continue to look uh, because this one is a little more expensive than I would like to pay for it. Um, so I'm going to continue to look. Um, a lot of apartments around here have upped their prices because, uh, like I said, the, the ball field has moved into the Marietta area so it's caused the rent to skyrocket even if it's not worth it you can you got apartment complexes out here that's yeah we did some renovations and blah 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 so yeah we want to charge you twelve hundred dollars for a thousand square feet absolutely not <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's the uh, situation I'm looking at right now but uh, God will prevail and he will lead me and guide me to my new home and if I have to stay in the mountains which I do not want to do um, I have to be open to that so he is the, the head of my life and uh, whatever he says to do that's what I will do but uh, yeah, I wanted to also come in and let you guys see where I'm look, what I'm looking like with the foundation. Um, it is 4:50 right now, and I believe I put my face together about um, 10, 11, maybe 11 o'clock, something like that. And I got to Atlanta about one o'clock, I believe. Don't quote me, cause I really didn't pay attention to the time. But um, yeah, I haven't touched anything up. I haven't powdered my nose, I haven't touched my lipstick, any of that. So yeah, this is where we're at. And we are on our way back to the mountains, like I said. So I will check back in with you one last time 
when I get back to the mountains and uh, yeah yeah I'm sad I don't want to leave I don't want to leave Atlanta but I gotta go back I do this every time I come to Atlanta it's like ugh, this is where I want to be so I love Atlanta all right guys enough of me babbling on the road we go <laughs> hi guys so I just made it back and I did some yard work and uh, yeah this is my face right here so we're gonna do the transfer test and as you can see my lippy has worn off a bit I ate some tropical fruit peanuts and uh, you know the salt get that and did that so here's the transfer that I'm picking up and I wanted to do this in the daylight so you can see what my face actually looks like so no touch up or anything like that and this is what we are looking like back in the house because I got nosy neighbors across the way but how about oh shoot the TV but how about I was on my way home right <laughs> and this guy cut in front of me he was in the lane that was all the way over to the right and I was in there's two two turning lanes and I was over there so I can make my turn so I can get on I-75. Well, Joker decides he wants to jump over and get in the lane where I am. So I'm a cur I'm a courteous driver. So I said, okay, I see him coming. Cause if I wouldn't have moved, he was gonna hit me. So I went ahead, got over in the other lane, knowing this is gonna put me all the way out of the way of where I need to be because my next turn I need to be over in the far right lane after I make my my turn of course so I didn't act ugly I didn't do any of that I just you know let them come over right so later down the road I need to get over so I can be in position to, to make my turn so I signal, you know how you supposed to do it. I signal so I can get over. He happens to be the one that's in the way when I need to get over. So I'm not going to lie. I was like, you know what? Let me give you some of your medicine back. So I got in front of him. I, I had my signal on in enough time so he can pull back and let me get in. Well, he didn't want to do that. He didn't want to be cooperative. So I cut in front of him just like he cut in front of me. How about this joker laid on his, his horn? I stopped the car, my car, and I didn't move. So you want to act like that, I'm going to act ugly right with you. I know it's not, it's not godly, but I did it. And so... I finally went ahead and, and drove on up. So he jumps around me, comes to the side of me, rolls his window down. Now, mind you, he got kids in the car. Or teenagers, I should say. Uh, they look like teenagers. And so I, I was contemplating. I said, you know, I shouldn't even entertain this joker. But I went ahead, I turned my, my music down, wrote, and let my window down. How about he say, who the, do you think you are? So I didn't get ugly with him. I said, well, you cut me off back there. No, I didn't. I said, yes, you did. You, you cut me off back there when you realized you were in the wrong lane and I let you come over. Otherwise, I would have hit you. So, I went on. I, I rolled up my window and kept, kept it moving. So, I guess I had got under his skin 
because you know people don't like to be told when they wrong and so he <laughs> hurry up and so he can hurry up and get in front back in front of me tip for tat I don't, I don't have time for that because one i'm an adult you're an adult and we not, right now both of us not setting a good example for the young kids that's in your car so i didn't go tip for tat with him i let him go and do what you want to do but i thought it was so funny how is it that you can do something to someone but when someone does it back to you you got a problem with that and you have to find the way to check them what who gonna check me boo because you ain't you need to look in the mirror and check yourself boo okay in in the famous words of sheree because at the end of the day guess what i'm still on my way home safe and sound now message is this you got to be careful with this road rage because just because i'm a female and i look like i'm a little girl you don't know what i might be toting in my car so you might want to make sure before you do this road rage you know who you're dealing with and in order to know who you're dealing with the key is not to have road rage <laughs> <laughs> how about that well anyway guys let me get off of here because i'm hungry i haven't eaten anything all day but i want to thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this vlog and uh, i don't know the next time i'm gonna do one of these because i don't feel like i'm a strong vlogger i know the more you do it the better you get at it uh, but right now, me being in the mountains, is really not too much for me to vlog out here. Um, and like I said earlier, hopefully God will um, grant me my want, because it's not a need. Hopefully he grants me my want and let me go move back to Georgia, even though I have to deal with idiots like that guy. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'll see you later, and I love you so much. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, share the video, like the video, and above all, comment down below and let me know what you thought about this vlog. All right, love you, fancy beauties and bows, and I'll see you in the next one.